So how'd you make your ribs? Mook, grill, wrapped, love. Thank you. Whole lot. <laughs> whole lot of love. Whole lot of love. Low, low heat. Your bottom from Sunny's. Low heat uh -huh. and a lot of love. So what are we doing today, Chef? Yeah, so today we have the Firehouse Challenge, which we invite firehouse from all across the city of Atlanta. We put on a cooking competition for them. This year they have to do pork ribs and wings. Just uh, rubbed them with uh, mustard. Uh, pineapple teriyaki. So the ribs were placed in a sous vide last night at uh, 5 o'clock for 12 hours at 165 degrees. The ribs were uh, about five hours on the uh, pellet fed smoker. I used apple with cherry wood mix. You know, we support the fire stations every year in the Atlanta Fire and Rescue Department. We also bring them Christmas dinner and Thanksgiving dinner really? at the holidays because they're working for us and they're away from their families. Oh. So when we were doing the tour and going through the fire stations and delivering food on the holidays, we noticed they had these outrageous kitchens. They had all this great cookware. So we thought, well, let's have a cook-off. And, and it's been that way ever since. It's a great event. Why is it that firemen are such good cooks? I mean, you never hear like policemen that are great cooks. You always hear great firemen. That's firemen. The, well, what, what, what makes a close company is when they they eat together. Okay. And so you always have someone cooking so that the company can eat together. Okay. And it's just like a family. The companies that cook together are the closest. So do we have a winner? <laughs> We've only judged one. Only one. Oh, Those yeah. wings over there with dryers at are the best. Yeah, which station is that? 16, of course. Right here, look at me. Yeah. Make sure you get that patch. This sauce right here, station 21, is one of the best sauces I've ever had. Whoa! What? The competition is so close, they actually have a three way tie for first place. Jeff, have you ever had one this close before? Never. No. I know. Never. No. We've always had a clear winner, which just shows you the quality of food, amount of time that goes in and effort from the fire stations to this competition. Fire Station 26, Garland Station number 16, Lieutenant Gannon Klein. The winner of the 2019 Firehouse Challenge Hyatt Regency Atlanta is Station number 21, Mike Okay, so for me, this was the top prize right here, first runner-up. Right. So he wins a Cuisinart ice cream maker, he wins some other goodies, but most importantly, you're going to get mix from High Road Ice Cream for one year. Fantastic. That you can spin up in this machine, and the first time, I'll show you how to make it. Wonderful. Mickey wants to be a tiller driver so bad. My dad, my dad was a tiller driver. Really? Awesome. Oh, I know he enjoyed it. He did. So, so uh, it, it's Dwyer, but what, it's Sergeant Dwyer? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yes. Lieutenant Dwyer. Yeah. That's awesome. So you excited about, is the whole team excited about ice cream? Uh, yes. Absolutely. You see the sauces on these guys? Yeah. I love ice cream. <laughs> He's camera shy, but that's Captain Bostic. He's the boss here. <laughs> How are you? Thanks for putting me on camera. You Appreciate it. Really these are handmade uh, praline pecans. Okay. So if you like your sweet tooth, like those. Mm. And then we have praline almonds. That'll work. And then we have our brown butter caramel. You lost me right there. <laughs> <laughs> have you do the honors? All right. Uh, and you just kind of pour it up to almost to the to the top. I think it can handle it. So do, is he a good cook? Does he know what he's doing? He's all right. He's all right. He'll pass. <laughs> wing it. Hey, look. If there's something we're good at, we wing it. We wing, it. We wing a lot of stuff. <laughs> so are you a cook? No. No. Well. Since I came here, I became a pretty good guy at making grits, so it's about, that's, a, that's where I'm good at. <laughs> when, I, when I first moved down here, I, we went to a diner and I had never had a grit. Like, I never had <laughs> grits. <laughs> yeah. So I get grits and I start putting sugar on my grits. Oh, no, not a good idea. 45. Oh, the 45. guy. Like, a lot of people do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. He got so mad, he turns around and the whole the whole place just stops. I felt like, <laughs> He's like, that's not cream of wheat, that's not oatmeal, what are you doing? I'm like, ah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Give it a taste, see if you like it. That's the sweet cream. Oh wow. That's nice. Really good. Okay, so now what we can do is we'll take it out, we'll put it in a stainless steel bowl, and we'll add whatever you want to add. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so use your candy pecan, try to put those in there. Sure. So just sprinkle them until you feel like 
got enough of candy pecans that I like you be generous with them because what we'll do is we're gonna okay. pull them all in like that. Another nice little <laughs> Yep, a jawal. Oh that's got a nice caramel hang in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I want that. I want that. No, I want that. No, I, I think it. Yeah. I gotta take yeah. it. Oh yeah. I'll do the Mm. Is that nature? Every bit. Oh my god. This is so much more than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. <laughs>